One UI 7 is still making its way to some older Galaxy devices in select regions, but Samsung isn't slowing down. In fact, it looks like the next chapter is about to begin, and it's closer than ever. In an exciting development, Samsung has just dropped an official teaser through its members' app, confirming that One UI 8 Beta, powered by Android 16, is on its way. The message doesn't just bring news, it brings instructions for eager testers, guiding them on how to prepare for this major leap forward. According to tech insider Tarun Vats on X, the banner has already started popping up on Galaxy devices in Korea, Germany, the UK, Poland, and India. Yes, I even spotted it myself on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The announcement also hints that the first wave of the beta will target the upcoming Galaxy S25 series, with support for previous flagships expected to follow shortly after. This thrilling update arrives just after Google's recent Android show, where Samsung confirmed its devices will embrace Android 16 sometime this summer. Coincidentally, or maybe not, the timing could align perfectly with the highly anticipated launch of the next Galaxy Foldables, which traditionally make their debut during the summer months. But here's where it gets even more exciting. Even before the beta is officially live, a lucky few have already gotten a sneak peek at One UI 8, and early impressions are revealing some amazing new features. One standout, a powerful upgrade to the now brief feature introduced in One UI 7. It's called Audio Brief, a smart, personalized audio summary of your day that can include weather updates, suggestions, and more, all delivered in a hands-free, voice-based format that feels intuitive and futuristic. And that's just the beginning. Recent leaks also tease a completely reimagined weather app in One UI 8. Think three to avatars that respond to the forecast sporting coats, hats, or umbrellas, depending on the day's weather, and rich, lifelike animations that make the whole experience feel more alive than ever before. While we're still waiting for the better rollout to begin, One UI 8 is shaping up to be a bold, beautiful evolution of the Galaxy experience. And if what we've seen so far is any indication, it's going to be worth every second of the wait. Galaxy fans, get hyped. One UI 8 is closer than ever, and the thrill is real. If you've been waiting to get your hands on Samsung's next big software update, the countdown may have already begun. The buzz is growing louder, and all signs point to the beta program launching very soon. The clearest hint, Samsung has quietly launched official One UI 8 beta program pages for the Galaxy S25 series on its community forums, right in major markets like United States, Germany, United Kingdom, these forums don't just appear for no reason. If you're a longtime Samsung fam, you already know what this means. Beta season is coming. Historically, when these pages go live, it's the final step before registrations open through the Samsung members app. Industry insiders are whispering that the beta could kick off as early as next week. If you're rocking a Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, or S25 Ultra in one of these key regions, you might soon get a golden opportunity to preview one UI 8 before the rest of the world. And there's more urgency this time around. Google has confirmed Android 16 will debut earlier than usual this summer. That's a game changer and Samsung is clearly determined not to fall behind like it did last year with One UI 7. Lessons learned from One UI 7. Let's not forget the bumpy ride with One UI 7. Rolled out late in December 2024. Didn't reach older models until April 2025. This time, Samsung is moving fast. From launching community pages to early internal testing, they're laying the groundwork to make One UI 8 smoother, faster, and more polished than ever before. Primary beta devices, Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, Galaxy S25 Ultra, Galaxy S25 Edge. Next wave, Galaxy Z Fold 6, Galaxy Z Flip 6. Internal firmware for One UI 8 has already been spotted running on the S25 Ultra. That means we're in the final stages before the public beta drops.